So now we're going to have a look at cash management. How do we start paying for some of the invoices that we owe? So we're going to go to cash management and then we're going to go into payment journals. Now, again, you can have batches of journals in exactly the same way as you can with any other journal, except obviously these ones relate to payments that we're going to make. Okay. So first step is to select um, the supplier that we're going to pay. So in this instance, we're, we're going to British Gas. And then that's all we have to do until we then decide how we're going to apply um, the payments. So we're going to apply entries and then we choose what invoice this relates to. Okay. So we can go in and we can say, right, well, we're going to pay off this 107216. So we'll go into process, set applies to ID, which will then drop in our document number that we then see on this invoice line. And then that will automatically update the amount for us there as well. OK, easy stuff. So all we then need to do is go in to process or sorry, print and post. And then that will start clearing down the balance on the uh, on the supplier card there for us. Now, that's an individual example, but what we can do as well, if we want to, just to make life a little bit easier, is we can go into, let's just have a look here, prepare and suggest vendor payments. And what this will do is it'll allow us to drop into the journal all money that we potentially owe. So we can set um, a posting date and we can set the starting document number as per the example here. And then we can also choose whether an individual journal line is created for each invoice or whether we're going to summarize a payment per supplier. So are we just going to pay them one lump sum or are we going to, you know, create them as individual payments based on the invoices there. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to leave that off uh, for the time being, but I am going to click on OK. And then it will drop in um, all of the, the, the suppliers that we owe money to. And in the same way as before, we can just go into process and apply entries. Okay, so very easy. Okay, but I'm not going to post all of those. So I'll just delete those. But I'm going to post the um, into British Gas. So let's delete those. Of those there we are. post excellent so now when I go back into British Gas so let's go back into vendors and suppliers into British Gas we can see that that balance is reduced there so it's gone from 900 to 780 and then what we can do is we can go into our ledger entries to see exactly what's going on there so we can see that payment that we just made at the top there GO4002 for 117 and then if we want to see what's going on there we can click on applied entries and we can see exactly what this payment is applied to so very easy to track back once you've posted some of these transactions to see exactly what's going on To order Dynamics 365 licenses or to sign up to a 30-day free trial, navigate to d365.link forward slash now.